Alléluia, Alléluia. Oh, Alléluia. 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 Oh, Alléluia. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The helium Psalms 81 and 3 say, Blow the shofar in the month and the footage of the point of time on our feast day. Yes. Hallelujah. We will begin, Yom Teruah, with the blowing of the shofar. Blow the shofar, all Israel, you little ones. Blow the shofar. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah! 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 Let us turn to Jerusalem. Hallelujah! Oh, oh we told you, Abba Yahweh. Yes, Once again, that you have kept your people, Abba Yahweh. And brought us back, Abba Yahweh, to your feast day, Abba Yahweh. Your celebration, Abba Yahweh. Oh, yum. To you are, Abba Yahweh, that we will lift up your mighty name, Abba Yahweh. That we will praise you this night, Abba Yahweh, with the dancing and the moving of our feet. Ah, oh, we will give your precious name now, Abba Yahweh. For everyone is not invited, Abba Yahweh, but you invited Israel to your celebration once again, Abba Yahweh. But rock like the world as it go forth, Abba Yahweh. Bind up every spirit to try to come against your truth tonight, Abba Yahweh. Give the people young free liberty to speak to the house, Abba Yahweh. Oh, Concerning your feast, Abba Yahweh. For we know it's all about you, Abba Yahweh. Mm. And we will do as you have commanded us to do. Mm. Every feast, Abba Yahweh. Mm. We will oh, yeah. celebrate it with dance and singing. Mm. And the lifting up our voices. Oh, Unto yeah. you, Abba Yahweh. Mm. And your precious son, mm. Yahshua HaMashiach, Abba Yahweh. Mm. Have your way in the midst tonight, Abba Yahweh. Mm. And your precious son, Abba Yahweh. Mm. Yahshua HaMashiach, I pray. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You may be seated, Israel. Uh, hallelujah. Oh, how wonderful it is. To be in y'all celebration one more time. Yes. And what do they do in that celebration? They sing, they dance, they lift up. And we will lift up our mighty Yahweh tonight. And we go on with this service. And you that have joined with us, you can lift them up and play. And if you have an instrument, a singing, a dancing, a moving your feet. But this is y'all celebration, Israel. Don't be ashamed to give Yah the praise on his celebration. And how he has kept us to bring us to another celebration. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, he is worthy, he is worthy. I told her Yah for his young Tirua. A Tehidium, Psalm 81 says, and we will do it, sing aloud to Yahweh our strength. Even more so, we will make a joyful noise to our Abba Yahweh. Yes, we will, Israel. For knowing all he has done for us, Israel. He has kept us through his tender mercies and love kindness, Israel. And this is a special day unto him. And he has commanded Israel to keep it. All Israel. For if you're not keeping it, you're not Yisrael, Yah. Because this day is special unto Yah, Yisrael, Yah. It is not just a day that he made. It's a day that he commanded Yisrael, Yah, to keep and abide by. And that we would do. Every last one of them, Yisrael, Yah. To heal them, 81 and 2 say, we will take some. We will bring here the temple. Oh, we will play every instrument we got here unto Israel, Yah. The little ones, the adults, everyone is giving Yah the praise. Everyone. Why? Because we know what Yah has done for us. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. The pleasant harp with the sorcery. Oh, Tony, y'all. We just go enjoy ourselves in y'all tonight, Israel, y'all. We're not worrying about the time, but we're here on y'all's time. And we're going to give him his time, Israel, y'all. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Are you happy tonight, Israel, y'all? Oh, then he brought you to the house. The world is going about doing their own thing. But we're here to praise our Abba and to lift him up. Oh, rejoicing in him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't it just make you want to move your feet, Israel, y'all? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, totally, y'all, totally, y'all. Don't it just bring a joy in your nephew, Israel, y'all? To Helium 81 and 3 say, Blow the shofar in the month and the fullness of the pawn and let me hear the shofar. Little one, blow your shofar. In the month and the fullness of the appointed time on our feast day, Sheg Yom Teruah, the feast of the shofar. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, yeah. Totally, yeah, we will rock you tonight. To Helium, 81 and 4 said, For this was a statue for Israel, yeah, and a Torah of Yahweh, of Yaakov. To Israel, to Israel, and as us being Israel, we will lift him up as he had commanded us. We will praise him tonight, not being ashamed of lifting up our voices, raising of our hands, the clapping of our hands, the moving of our feet. Oh yes, yes, we will, Israel. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I feel tough tonight. I feel tough that he made me a part of his feast, Israel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, I could have been absent, but he brought me back by his tender mercies and love kindness. Oh, to celebrate with him one more time, Israel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, hallelujah. Oh, I barack you. Oh, yes, hallelujah. To Helium, Psalm 47 and 1 say, Oh, clap your hands, Israel. All you people, shout to Yahweh with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, we will shout out to you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, totally, yeah, totally, yeah. Oh, beautiful celebration. Hallelujah. To Helium 47 and 2 says, For Yahweh the Most High is awesome, and for there is none like our Yahweh. He is the great and mighty one. And they can't understand our mighty Abba Yahweh and his precious son, Yahshua HaMashiach. He is the great king of all the earth, Israel. Yah. For he stands alone and there is no one like him. I don't care how much they try to imitate our Abba Yahweh, but there's only one. There's only one. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, hallelujah. He's so great. He's so great. To Helium Son 47, 3 says, And he shall subdue his people under us, and the nation under our feet. Because he loves Yisrael, and he is our refuge. He is our victory giver, and we can overcome every obstacle, every woe of high such time. 
Oh, yes, sir. We just trust them. Yeah. And we're not going to give a mighty Abba praise that has power like that, Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, yes, Abba Yahweh. Yeah, we come to praise you tonight and lift you up. That we will do. We will tear down this flesh and just give it to you tonight, Abba Yahweh. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To Helium Psalm 47 and 4 said, He shall choose our inheritance, Yisrael, for the excellency of Yaakov, whom Yahweh loved. This is where of whom Yisrael, who Abba Yahweh loved, Yisrael. And he truly loved us, Yisrael. He truly loved us. Are you here tonight, Yisrael? He brought you to the feast, Israel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He told her, y'all. Hallelujah. To Helium 47 and 5 say, Yahweh is going up with a shout. Let me hear the shofar. Bang that shout. Hallelujah. Yahweh with the sound of the shofar. Let us stand to our feet, Israel. Oh, put the shofar up to your mouth and Lord, give Yahweh the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 You may be seated, Israel. To Helium Psalm 47 and 6 says, Sing praises to Yahweh. Sing praises. And that we would do tonight. We will sing unto Yahweh. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. Oh, yes. Oh, we will open up our mouths to y'all tonight on his celebration. For Yahweh, the king of all the earth, sing your praises with understanding. And we have the understanding that we have a great and mighty Abba Yahweh. And we will praise him. Oh, we will praise him. Where you are Leviticus 23 and 23 says, And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, The seventh month and the first day of the month, shall you have a Sabbath, a memorial blowing of the shofar? All right. Oh, yes. That we do. That we will. And a Kodesh convocation where Yira Leviticus 23 and 25 said, and Yah means of what he said, Israel, Yah, you shall do no Savar work therein, but you shall honor his day and abide by it therein, but you shall offer an offering made by fire to Yahweh. 
And that's what we come to do, Israel, y'all. All oh, lift up our voices like never before, Israel, y'all. And praise our mighty Abba. And our voices like the trumpet that y'all blow, Israel, y'all. Because we will obey as Yah have commanded us to obey. Israel, Yah. By the Ruach of Yahshua Mashiach, we will. Let us shout. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, 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 oh,
until you destroy us. What a great delight that God brought son to us as a nation. We may come into the presence of his bay heart. No run to him at all thing that is acceptable by him. That's all right. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's all right, you may be seated. What a great blessing, Israel, that he brings his people together collectively for his zikron, for the memorial of his name, of his power, and the most excellent might of his power in Yoshua HaMashiach. What a great privilege that he grants it unto his subjects. We have nothing of substance, we have no riches, uh, yet he appreciates our Dota, our Yada, unto our Abba. That's all right. If we had 10,000 sheep sooner and offer that to him, uh, it all belongs to him anyway, Yisrael. So he grants us the breath of life that we may celebrate him. We may celebrate Yah and what a great privilege that is. That's all right. Hallelujah. We greet you all that have joined us by the live audio stream and the live visual stream as we emanate here from Teshua community the community of victory in Yoshua HaMashiach. We rejoice with you in your homes, wherever, wherever you are gathered. We rejoice with you all this, this beautiful Shabbat as Razakim Bidamin so excellently brought out to us the beauty of this celebration. I, I want to define the word to Ruach in its origin. All right? I understand what it means, but I want to read it from the Hebraic mind, from the concept of Yah's mind. This is what it declares. To Ruach. It is to sound the alarm as Zachim Birmin did with us to shout. It is a blast of the war that is before us, the spiritual battle. It is also to shout with the great joy. Now, there's a reason that we must shout and extol the very power of Almighty Yah. It is rejoicing. It is the time of jubilee, and that's what jubilee is. It is to ruach. So we gather on this young to ruach. It is to cause a loud noise to emanate from the body of Yisrael. It is to have a high joyful sound. Also, it is a high joyful sound with the impulse. Of the beating of our loins, our limbs by the breath of Yah, by His Ruach. And so the great honor that He has elected a people uh, that had no value or essentials in the earth. Uh, but He has chosen us out of the very rudiment of the world. Uh, deep in sin, shackled. Uh, under the bondage of darkness, and yet he plays your Hashem, your name in the bosom of Yoshua HaMashiach. It is enough to rejoice behind Yisrael. Hallelujah, we shall rejoice. Be exceedingly glad for the great riches of Yah that he has granted unto us as a nation. I want to read something before we sing in our Zachin, Rabbi Yah will come. But it says this in the book of Tehillim, in the book of Psalms. Let me turn to this quickly. And I want to show us why we ought to sing and shout and rejoice on this Teruach. For there's a last shofar. That's all right, blow it, little one. There's a last sound of the shofar that we wait for. There's one last sounding of the shofar. And so we gather as though the, this is our last. It is the Akaritha, the last one that shall sound. And we shall shout. 
with the rinna, the rinna, the rinna, the rinna, the rinna, the joyfulness of singing and dancing uh, before Almighty Yah. You shall shout the rinna, the shiram of Yah. The songs that cause, uh, as the prayer of Zoking bid me, they cause our feet to move, uh, cause our hearts to flutter. Come on, Israel. That's all right, brother. Jofar in Zion. Sound the alarm in the Kadosh, hair of God. And I read says here in the book of Tehillim, Psalms 100, I'm going to read the whole little book of that, or the writing of the letter of the Psalms to Tehillim. He says in Psalms 100, uh, he commands us to make a joyful excitement, uh, a shemach, a joyful noise uh, unto Yah, all oh, the land of the earth, uh, not just Yisra'ah, yeah. He said, make a joyful noise unto your own ye land. He commands us to serve Yah with gladness. Come before his presence with shiram, with singing. We're in the presence of Yah, Yisrael Yah. We come with singing and dancing and the offering of gladness unto him. There are no circumstances that's that difficult. That Yah has not subdued them. He has given us the power to overcome. We can do all things that pertains unto the Torah by the mind of Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. He says unto us, Know that Yah our Abba, it is He that has he has made us he has created us he formed us in his conscience and out of some of the lowliness of substance the dust of the earth he formed the ish and he caused the power of his ruach to flow in the midst of him a living Torah a living substance you are sure Hamashiach he has made us. We have not created anything of ourselves. Uh, and one of the most beautiful sounds he says to us, uh, he says, uh, we are his and um, his people, his nation, his elect, his call out. We are his people. Uh, and we are also the sheep, the son, the sheep of his merarith, of his grazing grounds. So we can dine on the delicacies of the promises of Yah. We can eat the living Torah of Yah. We can eat the soundness of his doctrine, Yisrael. So he commands us to bow, to enter, to come in to his gates with Toda, with Yada, because we know him. And we come into his courts with praises. He commands us to be thankful unto him. This is a wicked generation. This is a vile generation. This is a wretched generation. They shall die along with their damn gods, uh, the lords and the Baal. This is a vile generation. That's what he commands you to come out of this dirty whore. Do not be a partaker of her vile, wicked, corrupt ways. For Yah is tough. And his hasid, his love kindness, his tender love to Yisra'ya, his assurance. He says, it is everlasting, O Lamb It never ceases. It is eternity. 
and his Torah, his truth, uh, it endures through all door generations uh, of your dwelling, the place uh, that you abide. We have no soundness of death without his Torah. So we rejoice in your sure Hamashiach. Blow ye the Jephthah into Zion. Hallelujah. That's all right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to simply, you that have gathered with us on this Shabbaton, this day of rest, it is a time to honor that there is a, an honoring of the Abba in our actions, our deeds, our thoughts, that he takes precedent in our minds, our activities, that the Ru'ach HaChodash guides us in every application according to the Torah. And that is what the Ru'ach HaChodash does. You demand that says he has the Ru'ach of Yah, he is not walking complicitly according to the Torah, he is the religious Jezebel, a serpent of hell. They of their father Hashotan, the Ruach HaChodesh, the mind of your show, the mind of your guides and lead us through the power and understanding and wisdom of Torah. You may have the damn Holy Ghost, which is not worth a damn, but you don't have the Ruach HaChodesh. Hallelujah. I don't get offended when I talk like that. You talk in ways that you don't even know what you're saying. Let me give us an illustration why that there should be a great shemeshemsha, a great sound of rejoicing. If I offend your religious acidity, I frankly don't give a damn. That is what has destroyed the people. This repugnant thing we call religion. It is vile. It is not of Yah. There is only one Ichat, one Derek, one way. There is only one immersing. There is only one great one. And that's the truth. I want to say a few things before Zachane comes. We're going to sing some more. Is that all right? I don't know. I tell you, I may sing with you all doing Tabernacle, Zachane, and the Ach. Would man all the preaching, so that's going to give me liberty to sing and cook. Hallelujah. That's all right, isn't it? Listen to this. This is why we should. I want to, as the words resonate from Shaul here, he writes the first Corinthians, yeah, first Corinthians in chapter 15, verse 51. He says, Behold, uh, I show Israel the lats of the mystery, that which has been concealed in the mind of Yahshua. It is all revealed by the power of the Ruach HaChodash. He says, I show you a mystery, a secretive thing that Yah has been silent with. Because you must understand that the prince of this world, if they had known the princes of this world, had known the power of the death of Yeshua HaMashiach, they would have never impelled him. But Yah shows us a mystery. He opens the silent mysteries unto Yisra'ah. A nation of people that love him. Listen to me. There are those proponents that want to talk about the historical value and those that uh, the culture of Israel. It doesn't mean a damn thing. We can see the wickedness of a nation, a nation that sins. And so they say, we are Israel. Look at the history. It doesn't mean a damn thing. Show me one historical evidence of any people that have value. He wants us to fear him. To order him, to serve him, to denounce this wicked world. That's why we can come to Teruach and sing and shout, Yisra'ah. 
history. The, the history means nothing. The culture means nothing. They had a rich culture and they still sinned. They denounced sin. They rebelled against sin. They walked in the repugnant wickedness. And that's what this generation is doing. Committing every kind of vile sin it is. Transgressing the Torah. They're going to hell. The mom is going to hell. The baby is going to hell. You all will not do that. You foolish. You don't know the book. Now listen to these impotent men. They know nothing. That's why they don't like me. That's all right. And that's a fact. You get nothing sugar-coated here. This is a generation that is sottish and stupid. We have something to rejoice for. Listen to what Shaul says. He says, Behold, I show you a lot. He said, We shall not all die. We shall not all move. We shall not die prematurely before the time. He said, But we shall be halas. We shall be changed. There shall be a change. We shall be renewed. We shall be refined. In the power of uh, Torah, he said, in the moment of the twinkling of the eye in the us in the eye, you don't even know when it twinks. You don't even know the movement of the eye. The eye moves and you don't even know that it's moving. He says, coming that fast. In the moment of a twinkling uh, of an eye, listen to this. Uh, he said, at the last, the Akharitha, at the last shofar, that's why we rejoice. That's why we dance and we see. He said, at the last one, not the first one, but at the last shofar. He said, for the shofar, for the shofar, come on, little ones, they it shall sound. Sound the alarm in the Kodash mountain of God. That's all right. Hallelujah. For the last shofar, it shall sound. And those that are dead, and those that have died, they shall raise or be raised up incorruptible, for we shall be changed, Yisrael. There shall be a, a chalas. We shall be renewed in the power of the image of Yeshua. That's why we should rejoice. That's why Shufar. It's a very important time. All the more dem of your uh, 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 most important unto Yisrael. He has given us the Hodash. And the Hodash, the mood is for a sign. If there is no sign, how do you know a sign? An oath is evident of the visual. An oath is evident of the visual. He shows us, he gives us signs in the element of Hashemaam. That's what Yah does. He has not handed this into the hands uh, of juveniles. He has raised up his messengers uh, by the trials of conflicts uh, and tribulations that they may stand true to Torah. At the last shofar, the Akhritha, at the last shofar, we that are alive shall not prevent them from rising up. They shall be chalaf. I like the sound of that word. Chalaf. They shall be renewed in the image of Yahshua. They shall put off this old corruptible state of mind. The flesh is vile and wicked. It commits every kind of indignant activity against Yah. Men are not even fearful of Yah to break his mitzvah. I don't care what it is, they, they engage into every kind of damnable, vile, wicked thing it is uh, that transgress, that the uh, feshach oppose, go against willingly the Torah of Yah. And they think they have something. Uh, of course, they want to talk about, they can talk about things uh, that do not uh, uh, infringe upon the flesh. Uh, they can talk about culture and history, uh, and they can talk about the bed or the rebuilding of the house. Uh, it doesn't infringe on their wicked ways. Uh, it does not generate the fear of Yad Yisrael. And they can go and do some of the most vilest of things without any fear. It's time that we come up. Raise up the Novi, other prophet. Raise up the strong young messengers. Not the Nacher, not these boys. That's all I find today, a bunch of boys. 
immature spiritually and they have no direction from Yah. You know, God told me he didn't tell you a damn thing. He's not talking to this wicked generation. Oh, he talked. That's a lie. If the power of the witness and testimony, the, 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 the testimony of Yahshua doesn't resonate, then Yah's not talking to this wicked generation. The father spoke more by just looking than he did with his words. And the son knew better. He knew. It's amazing that he's talking to all of this generation and they all got a different tale. Isn't that amazing? Can I close with this? I will, my friend. And I want to sing some, as the old folks would say, some foot stomping ones. This is your assurance, Yisrael. We that have tikva, or we wait for the promises of Yah. Jaur writes here in Thessalonica, 1 Thessalonians. Chapter 4, verse 14. He says this for our assurance. And those that have died that have ceased from this life. That we may retain the promises of Yah. Only in Yahshua HaMashiach. So he speaks with a sound doctrine of truth to us. He says here in 1 Thessalonica, yeah, Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 14. He says, for if we believe, if we batak, if we have confidence in Yah, if we rest in the assurance of the testimony of Yahshua, those that call themselves Hebrews, it's appalling and shameful. They're nothing but a pack of damn hypocrites. That's all they are. They do not resonate the power of the testimony of Yahshua. Some of the most repugnant, wicked men and women you want to meet. And that's a fact. They don't give a damn about each other. They cannot take care of each other and look after each other. They don't want to abide with each other. But they love the wicked, don't they? They love the world. And yet they say they have love. You don't have a damn thing. Huh? You don't know what the Ahava of Yah is. With that man cursing, you don't even know what Chala is. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can I read on? Yeah. If we believe that Yeshua died and he is a Racha, he rose. Of the power of the Ruach of Yah, that he came forth, he broke the shackles of everything yeah. that was against the power of the Torah, the living word of Yah. He rose out of the depths of darkness. If we believe, we must believe. And one shows their belief by a faithfulness uh, unto the Torah, the commands of Yah. You can talk all the talk you want to. But this is a life that we walk the way of Yah. And we shine like the, the amber of a star in the midst of a dark, wicked generation. And so when we come to Turuach, the sounding of the shofar, we are waiting and we are looking at for the coming of our Hamashiach. Is that all right? Well, it's all right with me. Hallelujah. He says, even so them also who have died, believing in Yoshua Hamashiach, with Almighty Yah bring with him. Uh, he's going to bring the ingathering of Yisrael. He's going to gather them. Listen. Yah, he puts. He scattered Yisraya into every nation. I want you all to hear this. He scattered Yisraya into every nation. He scattered them under every government. He uses the word puts to scatter to every nation that they will be a blessing to every nation. You're not going to identify them by some damn pigmentation of the color of the skin. You're going to know them by the peri, the fruit. Fruit of the Ruach of Yah. And that's a fact. That's a fact. He comes in every shade like the Kolura of Yosef. From the lightest of the creams to the darkest. To the coarsest of hair to the straightest. And that's a fact, man. This is a wicked generation. I will come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For this, 
we say to you by the Daba of Yah that we which are alive and remain to the coming of Yoshu HaMashiach shall not be resurrected before those who are already died in the Imona. So we that are alive. And there are you that shall be alive. There shall be a generation whereby death shall have no sting and power. When our minds are fixed in the ways of Yah Yisrael, there shall be a people. I may not be here, but there will be those of great strength, great maturity. They will denounce the power of sin, the transgressing, the willingness to defy Torah. They will denounce it. And Yah's people, he's going to gather them from the four corners of the earth. He did not just spread them here in this nation. They're spreading in every nation. They're scattered in every nation, Yisrael. He puts her. Uh, the earth was plowed in wickedness. And he put them in his hands like you scatter seeds. And he flung them. He puts her. Uh, he puts her. Uh, I will. Them to the four corners of the earth. And the measurement of Yisrael that's here in America is the same in Cuba. The percentage, it is the same in Russia, in China, the continent. Isn't that something these wicked people with their skin black as tar and they will say the whole continent of Africa, this jackass spirit, say they are not of Yisraya. These stupid beasts. You cannot identify Yisraya. Where are you from? No, you don't ask a man where he's from. You know the rock that a man bears. You see that. And so they denounce that continent, uh, but yet they say that Yisrael was on the Shubi, Shubuth, uh, slavery, but yet the American Indians uh, are a tribe. Uh, what a damn lie. It's a lie from hell. Get you, Marie. Tell him that Yisrael denounces lies. And they think that they have a standard before Yah because. Uh, they were born in the Americas. What a damn shame. And they denounce Yisrael scattered into every nation. Yisrael scattered into every nation. And they have, under the Mishra of Yah, they have a political power, a social power, they have a wealth power. And hell, where's the wealth here? How do we describe the wealth of Yah? How do we describe Devarim in the first 14 verses? 20, uh, 28. How do we describe that? This is a wicked generation. I don't care if you don't like me. Hallelujah. The devil doesn't like me. So that's all right by me. I don't like myself at times. I don't like you, man. Hallelujah. And so they denounce Yisrael. It's a wickedness. We know Yisrael. They're the heart of Yis, at the heart of Yahshua HaMashiach. And we, we meet one every now and then on the wayfaring, on the road. We meet a wayfaring uh, on this tremendous highway. It causes the left to rejoice. And we know our Ach. His language may be different than your language. His speech pattern may not be as sound as yours. But you know that this is a child of Yisrael. You look for the marking of the Ruach HaChodesh. You know that that's Yisrael. Yah has hidden his people. Did he hide Yahshua? Did the world know he was Yahshua? Did he come into his own? In hell, they didn't even know who he was. His Torah has come into his own, and they still don't know what the Torah is. His word has been spoken to his own, and they still don't obey it. Oh, they, they have the Kala, they have the curse of Yah upon them. We are the riches of Yah and Yahshua. We can do all things that pertain to the Torah of Yah in Yahshua. Because he is the strength, he is the light, and the life of the power of the knowledge of Yah. He is the living Torah. He is the living Torah. How sad. I don't care where, Yis where Yisrael was. Bavel, Misraim, Azakin, Arabiah. When all the plagues came through and they were a rebellious, wicked house. 
Every kind of damn God, every kind of damn Baal Lord, they served. They incorporated those deities into their process. And yet when death came through Miss Raim, when there was no awe, no mar'o, no light of excitement, yet among Gosha, there was light. And wherever Yisra'ya is, there is light. There is not just awe, but there is a ma'oa. It is the ma'oa, the ma'oa, the light of brightness, the light of rejoicing, the light of excitement, wherever Yisra'ya is. And through some of the most crushing governments, they reigned. They had power. Sure they did. Talk to me, people. That's why we are excited about Turuach. Turuach. Sing, O Israel. Sing to him. Let me finish this. We're going to sing it. Our Zachin is going to come. Hallelujah. Listen to this. This is your assurance. He says in verse 16, For Yoshua Hamashiach himself shall descend from Hashemam. And he's coming with a shout. Come on, Yisraya. That's what the rock is. Oh, Yisraya. Hallelujah. He's coming with a shout. And with the voice of the chief heavenly Melaka. He's coming with a shout of the Shofar. He's coming at Yom Turuach. He's coming with the sound of the Shofar. He's coming at the time of Jubilee. He's coming at the time of Turuach. That's our assurance. He's coming with the shouts. With the voice of the most powerful heavenly messenger. And with the sound of the Shofar of Yah. And when that Shofar blow oh yeah. Shufa, little one. That's all right. Yeah, we excite our babies, the few we have. The wicked excites theirs with a damn pagan tree. A damn fat-backed chitlin dinner for Thanksgiving. I will, man. And all of their wickedness. Shake your butt, baby. Show them you can bump, bump, bump. Make their baby dogs and sluttish and hoish. That's why y'all said, damn it, kill all of them. Kill the last one of them. The ones that suck on the titty, damn it, kill them all. Your damn God doesn't talk like that. But Yah does. He said, kill them all. He said, Korah Day found out about him, kill them all. He said, kill the babies. The one that's sucking the titty, damn it, kill them all. And that's what he's going to do. Bringing up these children under such wicked government. Yah has an ordination for the house for man to marry the woman and the woman to marry the man under the auspice of his command. But they want to do the bump, bump. Come on. No man honors a woman when he take advantage of her body, she's weak. And no woman honors a man when they do that. There's a command of Yah. That's love, man. That's love, woman. Hell, you don't know what love is. The women don't know what love is. They got to be taught what love is. I said to an elderly woman today, I said, you know, an old woman like you, you should have a degree of knowledge of love that you can teach young women. Like the Torah says, teach them to, to take care of their babies. Hell, the world got them in bondage. We got to pay for a car. We got to pay for a house. We got to pay my credit cards. You teach them how to take care of their children. Yes. And you teach them how to keep the house clean, to be chaste, yes. how to be high yield, a woman of strength and power, to be beautiful. And you teach them how to love their husband because they don't know how to love a man. They don't know how to love a man. But I want romance. What in the hell is romance? You've gotten that from the Kardashian whores. You got that from this Jaja Z slut. These wicked corrupt people. Well, he ain't romantic. You don't even know what romantic is. Tell him what romance is. Silly woman. Silly man. I don't give a damn if you don't like me. The devil doesn't like me. 
and I like that. I'm a warrior. Do you understand? That's what I am. I am a warrior. I got a cause greater than me. Listen to this. He's going to descend from Hashemaim with the sound of the shofar of Yah and the dead of Messiah shall rise first. Then we, that's why we rejoice at this time. Then we which are alive and remain, we shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet Yahshua HaMashiach. We're going to meet him in, in the air. We're going to meet him in the air. And so shall we always be with our master. And look, you see, all your trials and your tribulation, all of the, uh, all of your great conflicts in life. But this is what he says, uh, Shaul. He says, uh, wherefore, I want you to, uh, uh, to comfort, to comfort, to support one another, to comfort one another, to strengthen one another, to refresh one another. That's why living among Yisrael, we can strengthen, refresh one another. We can comfort each other. We can so add, so add, to comfort, to enlighten, to strengthen. I don't get strength from the world. You understand? Yeah. Wherefore we comfort one another. For what? For the waiting of the sound of the last shofar. For the last shofar. I close with this last verse here. To Helium 119, 150. This is my nocham. This is my comfort. This is how I console myself. Psalms 119, verse 50. He says, in my own knee, in my affliction, in my poverty, in my great depression and battles of darkness. He said, for your daba, for your word, for the word of Yah has uh, haya, has quickened me. It has made us alive. It is the Torah of Yah. It is the hearing of the Torah of Yah. It is the sound of the shofar of Yah that makes us alive. And calls the power of the testimony of Yahshua to resonate from our bosom, Yisrael Yah. Come on. It is his dabarim, the word, his promises that he speak unto a nation that causes us to rise triumphantly with the assurance of his tikva, his hope. That at the sound of the last shofar, and those that have died, Abraham, Yitzhak, Yaakov, they're going to get up. And you, that generation that shall be alive, we won't prevent that, Yisrael. That's why we should rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For this is the promise of God. And we know by the immutability of God, He cannot lie. This is truth, Yisrael. He cannot lie. He cannot speak a lie. So let us, so ah, let us comfort ourselves. How? In Torah. Let us get excited when we hear Torah. Let us dance when we hear Torah. Let us celebrate the Hagah, the feast, the Hag of Yah with dancing and singing as Zachim Biribi says with the moving of our feet and the clapping of our hands and the, and the very sound of thanksgiving or Torah unto Yah that we cry Todah Yah, Todah Yah, Todah Yah. Again we greet you all that have joined us in your homes wherever you are beautiful. We have a beautiful gathering with us. Hallelujah. We greet you all in your sure Hamashiach, mighty name. May the riches of your rest in your bosom tonight. We go, come on, Tashua la sing. Come on, Ach Yosipia, we're going to sing. Come on, Zachin, you go ahead, play on that thing and let us sing unto you. Come on, my little ones. Hallelujah. That's all right. We're going to make a joyful noise to you. Oh, yes.
Awake, O Israel, put off your slumber and let the Torah set you free. Awake, awake, O Israel, put off your slumber and the true shall make you free. For out of
say to you all our friends and also our enemies as well we greet you in your sure's name we have three booklets and we want to send it to you free of charge you simply go on or link to the material page and these booklets will help you one is called the importance of Yah's feast days the other one is called Yahweh's covenant feast days and also can we keep the Mu'adim, the Feast of Yah, outside of Yerushalayim? Can we do that? There's a doctrine that has been purported. We cannot keep the Mu'adim of Yah outside of Yerushalayim. Yoshu met the woman of Shamron. She says, Ah, Avat, they worship in this, uh, in this mountain. You said, you said, that all men must, uh, they must worship Yah in Yerushalayim. Yoshua said, you said it right. But in this Akrith, Yah is seeking for those and he's looking for those that worship Yah in Ru'ach and in the Torah. For the Abba seek as such. You can do it all you want to in your religious, religious ways. It doesn't mean a damn thing. It is of no value. It has not produced anything. It has not produced any life at all. Period. So we worship Yah in the Ruach, by the power of the Ruach HaKodesh. And again I say, damn the Holy Ghost. That's bold, man. I know it's bold. Come on, our Zachin, Yabrach. Ah, yes. Zachin, Yarameya, our Zachin. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, what a wonderful occasion, Israel, to gather here on this Migron, this time of celebration. You know, we as a people, Israel, we are ignorant at many things of the Torah, even the simplest of things. Did not Yahshua HaMashiach say if his kingdom or his Melchut was of this world, would not his servants fight for Israel? So where is Jerusalem? Where is Israel? Where is it? It's in the land of Israel. Yes, there is a place that Yahweh intends for his people to be. But there also is a place that we must be in the Ruah, Yisrael. So where do we gather at these times, Yisrael? How does Yahweh bring those from near and afar? Let me tell you how. Only he can do it. By his Ruah, Yisrael. That's how he should gather us. That's how we are kept. And that is what is going to keep us. Pressing on, Yisrael, to see what the end is going to be. Hallelujah. Don't you want to gather together, Yisrael? Hallelujah. 
You know, there's one. I want to bring an example before I get started. Hallelujah. Concerning gather of Asah to gather or to bring to a place. There are a few instances or places in Torah where it talks about this gathering or gather together. And if you think about that, gather is one thing, but for something to be together, it means another thing, Israel. So let me use this for an example that we all can comprehend this simple truth of what I would like to bring tonight, Israel. A puzzle. My Isha, she likes puzzles. Putting them together. Two, three, four hundred pieces, whatever. Hey, she puts it, she can put them together. So we as Yisrael are we are a type of a puzzle. Beautiful. Hallelujah. And the Torah, if we will study it, it shows our attributes to the fullest. But yet Yahweh, he scatters. Does he not push? Does he not scatter Israel? Has he not scattered Israel? Well, he should gather us back together. So what is the vision of a puzzle? Well, it's most of the time it's on the box. It showed you what that puzzle should look like. So this is what the image is right here. It's the Torah of Almighty Yahweh of what Yisrael should look like. Hallelujah. So yet we're scattered abroad. Pieces everywhere. You open the box, those pieces I mean, if, if you haven't done it before, you want to start with something small. You don't want to start off with four or five hundred pieces. You want to start with something small. But yet, it's the same process. So you take those puzzles, and the puzzles are gathered together, are they not? You spread them out on the floor. You may want to take a few here and a few there. You gather them together. But it takes uh, effort. It takes a concern. It takes a want to put it together. So that is what Yahweh is doing in this hour, Yisrael. Even though he gathers us, are we gathered tonight, Yisrael? Do not the nations, have they not gathered for these, uh, for the elections? These little forums or the parties? The Democrats, the Republicans, whatever, throughout the world, they gather. There are those that, they think they're dressing down and they look a mess, but yet they gather. Of every hue of skin, but they gather. The rich, the poor, but yet they gather for these events. It's a part that we are Yisrael, we gather together, Yisrael. Come on. We're going to let the world show us how we should gather before the presence of Almighty Yahweh. But not only should we gather or come to a place, Yisrael, we must come together. It's, it's more intimate. It's more than just gathering things or pulling things in one spot. Cause you, you have a mess, so you must, it must be organized, and it must be put together. Hallelujah. For what I want to endeavor tonight, first off, this is somewhat of a two-part, Israel. Hallelujah. I want to begin in Tehillim. Dawid. Dawid, he understood the power of Almighty Yahweh to give. Has he not given us much, Yisrael? And yet, he, he also takes away. But that way he understood that he must barak Yahweh for what he has given and also what Almighty Yahweh has taken away. Hallelujah. Told Yahweh. It says in Tehillim, chapter 66, and I'm going to read the entire chapter. Before I get into the, the main part of what I want to speak about concerning gather and together, Yahad. It says in Tehillim, chapter 66, verse 1. Make a joyful noise unto Yahweh, all you lands. Hallelujah. It says, call all you lands. All you lands, not just the land Jerusalem. But all you earth, all you people, all you that have the breath of Almighty Yahweh, make a joyful noise unto Yahweh, all you lands. He says to sing for the honor that is due to his name. Make his praise honorable. 
Say unto Yahweh, how awesome are you in your works. In Yahweh works awesome, Israel. Look how, how far he has brought us. Look at where he has brought you from. Hallelujah. I know he brought me from a mighty long way. Hallelujah. He pulled me out of the cesspool, cesspool of sin and iniquity. How awesome are your ways, your works. Through the, the greatness of your power shall your enemies submit themselves unto you. He said, all the earth shall worship you and shall sing unto you. They shall sing unto your name, Shalah. Come and see the works of Yahweh. He is terrible. Is not Yahweh terrible? In his doings toward the children of men. He turned up the sea into dry land. Aren't you glad he turned somewhat all of our troubles, the things that try to water us down, he turned it into dry land or dry shod that we could walk across Israel. Was not the deliverance of Mizraim out of Mizraim across dry shod? Hallelujah. He turned the sea into dry land, and they went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. Hallelujah. Don't we rejoice in Yahweh tonight. But he brought us to the flood, Israel. He ruled it by his power forever. That's how he rules, Israel. His eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. He says, Oh, bless our Abba, Almighty Yahweh, you people. And make the voice of his praise to be heard. Hallelujah. He meant his praise to be heard, Israel. Hallelujah. Which holdeth, which holdeth our soul in life, and suffereth not our feet to be moved. Hallelujah. Did you know it's, it's because of Yahweh that your feet are not moved, Israel? It's because of Yahweh that we have a sure foundation. Hallelujah. For our Abba, he has proved us. Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. How is silver tried, Israel? Is it not by the furnace? Are we tried by the furnace of affliction? By the ish of Almighty Yahweh, the fire of Yah? He said, you brought us, us into the net. Don't question where you are, Israel. Yahweh knows what he's doing. Hallelujah. It's to prove us. He has brought us into the net. Thou latest affliction upon our loins. It's Yahweh. Hallelujah. It's not the enemy. Don't, don't give it to Satan. It's by the power of Almighty Yahweh that we may be proved, Israel, that our praises may be pure. Hallelujah. That we may lift up his voice. Lift up our voices before him in praises. Listen to this. Verse 12. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went forth through the fire and through the water. But it says, but it is you that has brought us, us out into a wealthy place. Hallelujah. A wealthy place in Yahshua HaMashiach. A wealthy place in his Mitzvah and in his Torah, Yisrael. He said, I will go into your house, into your bayat with burnt offerings. Have you brought your offerings tonight, Israel? Your offerings of praise as an incense, a sweet smell and savor unto Almighty Yahweh. He said, I will pay my vows. He said, which my lips have uttered and my mouth have spoken. When I was in trouble, he said, I will offer unto you burnt offerings of the fatlings. The fatlings. He desired the fatlings, Yisrael. Not the thin things. He wants it full. I know when I pick out a fruit, I want it full. I don't want dry grapes. I can get raisins if I want dry grapes. I want something with some juice in it. Hallelujah. He said, with the incense of rams, I will offer bullocks with goats. Come and hear 
all you that fear Yahweh. And I will declare what he has done for my nephews. I declare unto the house of Israel. Hallelujah. By my praise. By the lifting of my voice. By the clapping of my hands. By the blowing of the shofar. By the playing of the timbre. What Yah. What he has done for me. He said, I cried unto him with my mouth. And he was extolled with my tongue. He said, if I regard iniquity in my left, Yahweh, he will not hear me. Don't you know Yahweh will not hear us tonight? We regard iniquity, Israel. Yah. Hallelujah. But look what Dawid says here. But verily, Yahweh, he has heard me. Hallelujah. Dawid knew that if he had iniquity or the seed of sin in his left, that Yahweh would not hear him. But he knew by confidence. Don't you hear what he says here? But verily, Yahweh, he has heard me. But you know, Yahweh hears us tonight, Israel. Yah. Hallelujah. The Sadiq, we are deemed Sadiq in this generation, Israel. Yah. It said he had attended to the voice of my prayer, of my palah. Verse 20, the last verse. Blessed be Yahweh, our Abba, which have not turned away my palah, my prayer, nor his mercies from me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, lift up your voice, Israel. Yah. A loud sound of praise. For he has not turned away his mercy from the house of Israel. Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Told the Yahweh. Let me define in this second part, if I may choose to call it that. Gather. The Vasa. To gather. To receive. It also means to remove or to bring out. So even in the gathering of the house of Yisrael, he brings us out. Just as he's gathered Yisrael out of Mizraim, he brought them out. Did he not, Yisrael? Has he not brought us out of Mizraim? Even though we abide and there's so much wickedness around us, yet he has brought us out. We're not of the spirit of this world, Yisrael. To gather in. Have we not gathered in these past months the, the, the fruit and the vegetables, Yisrael, Yah, and put them in the storehouse? Don't you know that's what Yahweh does with the house of Yisrael, Yah? To gather in or to collect. To gather. Whether it be an individual in the company of others. Don't you know that's important, Yisrael, Yah, for us to gather together? You know, we're so scattered physically. But it's even more detriment that we are scattered mentally, spiritually. Everyone goes after their own way and not the way of Almighty Yahweh. I'm going to get to something where it talks about the Zarkane. We as Zarkane, as leaders, as those of age, of experience, we should gather. Yes, we should. Do not the Torah says that in the company of the Zarkane, of those of wisdom, there's much safety. But we think because we're wise and we're wise in our own conceit that we're wiser than the others. We know more. So, so we have this tendency to, to be off standish and we don't want to gather because it's me and mine and what I know. That's not what Yahweh intends, Israel. Yah. He intends for the Zarkane to gather together, the elders. We should be an example for the house. And I will get to that. I will prove it. I will prove it in Torah. Hallelujah. The individual into a company of others and to assemble. You remember me talking about the puzzle? Even though it's in that box and it's gathered, yet it's not assembled. Well, let's talk about the assembly or y'all bringing this thing together. Hallelujah. Together. Yahad. It's more of an intimate relationship. Hallelujah. Me and my Esha, if we don't may go out and work, I may leave the house. We're still together. Hallelujah. But even more so, I mean, we, we, I, I'm gathered. We're gathered together. We're gathered, but yet we're together. Hallelujah. My mind is on her, on my bang, 
The house of Israel out here. There's a togetherness. There's an intimacy there. There's an experience there, Yisrael. I know my Isha. We should desire to know Almighty Yahweh. He knows us, Yisrael. He's intimate with us. But we as a people, we shy away. We turn away. Hallelujah. We should be closer unto him, Yisrael. Yahad. Together. It's a union. It's, it's been able to work. To accomplish, to establish, yes, that's all right. and unitedness. Oh, wow. yes. Even though there are nations, they could be united. It's, it's even, it, even as we see in this world, you have the United States, you have China, yes. but yet they have delegates or those that represent each nation, yes. and they come together. Do they not use Raya yes. for their meetings? Also, all together, every piece, coal, every part, nothing being left out, Yisrael. If you're putting something together, it's important that you have a manual, especially if there are many parts. There have been times that I, because I've seen the thing together, oh, this is easy to put together. You go assembling a bicycle, or you may leave a screw out, you wonder why your gears aren't working right. That's why Yahweh has the Torah. Israel. So he gathers us by the Torah. And not only that, by his Ahava, by his Ruach, he gathers us together. Hallelujah. And another uh, fact, it's being alike. It's being alike. We should be alike, Israel. Not differences in between us, but we are all one, we are Ikai. We should be Ikai, one in Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. That is very important. So let me begin. Just some examples tonight, Yisrael. That is why it's so important on this day, at these feasts, these Migras, that we come together. More so in Ruach than anything. Because we can have a hot pause of mess if we just gather together in the flesh. But we must gather in the Ruach. Hallelujah. HaKodesh of Almighty Yahweh. Genesis, Bereshit, chapter 49, verse 1. Showing the importance of gathering together. And Yaakov called his sons. Are we the sons of Almighty Yahweh? Has Yahweh called us? Yisrael. The tribes of Yisrael. Together. And Yaakov called to his sons and said, Gather yourselves together. I want you to get everything straight. I'm having a meeting. I want you to gather yourselves together. Close. I want you to be all of one mind, clear of focus. Why? That I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. Are we in the last days, Yisrael, yeah, the long Yom Akarith? Yeah. Yahweh intends for us to gather together. Why? That we may hear the instruction, yeah. the reproof, yeah. the chastisement yeah. of Almighty Yahweh. Yeah. Just as he does hear Yaakov. And he says in verse 2, gather yourself Together. And what does it say? Who has it open? What does it say? And hear. Shema. Hear Yisrael. So even as we gathered on this day with the praises, shoutings unto Almighty Yahweh as we blow the shofar, we must hear Yisrael what the Ruach is saying into the assembly. Why? Because we're in the young Ankhari. We're in the last days, Yisrael. Hallelujah. And if we cannot get this right in the Ruach now, we're not going to get it right at the end of all things. Those that are filthy are going to be filthy still. And those that are Kodesh, set apart, washed in the Dhamma Yahshua, shall be Kodesh still, Yisrael. 
Gather yourselves together and Shema, hear, you sons of Yaakov, and hearken to Yisra'ya, your Ava. How well do we hearken, Yisra'ya? How well do we hear? Hallelujah. How well do we hear? Do we gather together for foolishness? Do we gather together to see what one another's wearing? They do it. It's, it happens, Yisra'ya. Come on. It's just the truth. People gather together to see who has the most expensive car. They gather in the whorehouses of this hour to see who has the most fly dress, who has the widest brim hat, and it's just foolishness, Yisra'ya. But they don't gather together to hear the mishvah of Almighty Yahweh. They don't gather together to hear the judgments of Almighty Yahweh. But yet, this night, Yisra'ya, we have gathered together in the Ruah. HaKodesh of Almighty Yahweh. To Shema. Hallelujah. And to lift up his Kodesh name. Hallelujah. Let's move on. To Exodus. Chapter 3, verse 13. Hallelujah. Gathering ourselves together. Hallelujah. It says in Exodus chapter 3, verse 13. And Moshe said unto Yahweh, Behold, when I come unto the sons of Israel, and shall say to them, Yahweh of your Avats have sent me to you. And, I shall, and they shall say to me, What is his shame or his name? What shall I say? Unto them. And Yahweh said unto Moshe, I am that I am, or Haya. And there, there are those that take that out of context, Israel. That's not Yahweh's name, that is his name, Yahweh. But his name is Haya. It is broad. His presence is everywhere and everything. Yahweh is his name. But in Yahweh do we find the fullness. Of all that he is. He's in the air that we breathe. The water that we drink. It's all Yahweh. Hallelujah. Yahweh is high. So all, what he was simply saying. I am that I am. It's not that. The, at this time. There were those that knew Yahweh. That walked in the Mishvah. The commandments of almighty Yahweh. So he said just tell them that I, I am. I am. They, they knew who Yahweh, who Yahweh was referring himself as, the almighty creator of all things. Let's move to verse 14. And Yahweh said to Moshe, I am that I am. And he said, thus shall you say to the sons of Israel, I am has sent you. Yes. Hallelujah. And just to give you a, a few words to help you with that, Yisrael, Haya. It says to be, to become. To come to pass. Well, Yahweh says come to pass, Yisrael. Right, to exist. Yes. He's in everything. In the trees. Yes. He's created it all. He's in everything. Yes. The very air that you breathe is from Almighty Yahweh. Yes. To be. Yes. And to be in existence and to abide. Yes. That's not his Torah, his Mishvah of abide. No matter what man does or no matter what you do, it abides, Yisrael. Right, Hallelujah. It is Haya. Yahweh is Haya. And to remain, and not only that, but to continue. Who can stop you? The course that this world and this nation is going on is ordained of Almighty Yahweh. Who's going to stop it? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's our reassurance. Because in, even in that, don't you know that if the Ruach HaKodesh that dwells in Yahshua HaMashiach dwells in you, it's your quicken? The resurrection, your mortal body, it all, it's all one, Yisrael, Yah. If I may, it's just as simple as that. It's all Yah. Hallelujah. Let's move on. Verse 15. And Yahweh said more to Moshe, Thus say you unto the sons of Yisrael, Yah. Yahweh, the sovereign ruler of your avats, of your father, the sovereign ruler of Abram, the sovereign ruler of Yitzhak and of Yaakov, has sent me to you 
This is my name forever, and this is my memorial to all generations. Verse 16, as we move on. He commands Moshe to go and gather. Who has that open? Who has that open? Read that for, read, read that for me, Zake. What does that say? Verse 16. The Zarkane. That's what he says. Did he say the a hope? Did he say gather the bane? He said, gather the elders, the Zarkane of Yisrael together. Why did Yahweh do that? He has an order in all things, Yisrael. And say to them, Yahweh, the sovereign ruler of Yahweh, the sovereign ruler of Abram, Yitzhak, and of Yaakov, has appeared unto me. Saying, I have surely visited you. Why don't we see the almighty hand of Yahweh visiting in the assembly as he did in the beginning. Hallelujah. Because we don't do what Yahweh has commanded in this text, Yisrael. We has commanded Moshe. We as the Zakeh and the elders of Yisrael, we don't gather. An yes, right. assembly, a solemn assembly unto almighty Yahweh. He said, I have surely visited you and seeing that which is done to you in Egypt, in Mizraim. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction of Egypt. Yes. To the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, yes. and the Hivites, and the Jebusites. To a land flowing with milk and with honey. Uh, Don't we as elders, as I can desire that to bring yes, Israel? And to the place, and to the land, and to the, the wealth that Yahweh desires his people to be in. Hallelujah. But we are so scattered in this nation. Hallelujah. And we pull away from one another, Israel. He commanded Zakain to gather together. Verse 17. Hallelujah. Verse 18. And they shall hearken unto your voice. And you shall come, you and the elders of Israel, the king of Mizraim, and you shall say to them, Yahweh the sovereign ruler of the Hebrews has met with us. Has Yahweh met with us, Israel? Hallelujah. Come on, Israel. We've gathered together. The Zakain, we have gathered together. Yeah. And one accord, that we all have one purpose in here tonight, Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. To meet with us. And now he says, and now let us go. We beseech you three days' journey into the wilderness. That we may offer offerings, Zabak, sacrifices, unto Yahweh. Our Almighty. Hallelujah. Have we not come into this place to offer in sacrifices of praise? Yeah. Offerings of praise. Hallelujah. To lift up our voice like a shofar before Yahweh our King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is just a smidgen tonight. This is just a little bit of a foretaste of what we shall experience when Yahweh gathers all Yisrael together in one place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's move on to Yaira, Leviticus chapter 8, verse 1. Hallelujah. Yahweh is tough. And his mercies it endures forever, Yisrael. Hallelujah. We should not forsake the assembling of ourselves together, Yisrael. You know, we as a people, we don't want to touch each other. We don't want to rub up against each other. Come on. When you're not in the right Ruah and you're not abiding in the Ruah HaKodesh, you see one, you turn the other direction. Come on, Yisrael, y'all. We should draw nearer to one another, together, in unity, 
Hallelujah. Leviticus chapter 8, verse 1. And Yahweh, he spake, spoke to Moshe, saying, Take Aharon. Now, I want to break this down just a little bit, Israel. Yeah. There's so much wealth that can be brought out of this concerning the, the dress, the anointing, and the oil yeah. in this Israel. Yeah. So I'm just going to just bring out a few points because this is an example of Israel. Yeah. As we gather together in unity, we dress, put on the, the whole garment of Almighty Yahweh. Our heads being covered with the dam of Yahshua HaMashiach, that Yahweh may pour out his oil upon us. We need the pouring of his oil, Yisrael, hallelujah, upon the house. He says, to take Aharon and his sons with him, and the garments, and the anointing oil, and the bullock for the sin offering. We know who our sin offering is. It's Yahshua HaMashiach. And the two rams and a basket of unleavened bread. Is it not the bread of life? Isn't, isn't it not? Isn't unleavened with this leavening of the world? Hallelujah. It's not leavened with this leavening of the world. It's unleavened. Verse 3. And gather you, all the congregation, call. Does it not say call all the congregation, Israel, the assembly? Together at the door of the tent of the congregation. And Moshe did as Yahweh had commanded him. And the assembly was gathered. But not only it was gathered, but it was gathered together. It was all in one mind. Piece together. And that puzzle. If you don't put those pieces, some pieces seem like they may fit. But it, it, just the right curve or the right turn won't let that piece fall into place. Right, y'all. Everybody was in one mind. And one accord, the congregation of Israel. Yeah. And Moshe said in verse 5, to the congregation, this is the thing what Yahweh has commanded to be done. And Moshe brought Aharon and his sons, and he washed him with water. Have we not been washed with the water, Israel? Yeah. The rock of Almighty Yahweh. Yeah. And put on him the coat. And girdle him with the girdle. Should we not have the dress of the Ruach Yisrael and our loins being girdled with the truth of the Torah and girdle him with the girdle and clothe him with the robe. You just think about the mind Yisrael. We clothe the mind in so many things besides the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. We dress ourselves in so many spirits, but not the Ruach of Almighty Yah. And he said to put the ephod upon him, and he girded him with the woven girdle of the ephod, and bound it to him wherewith Yisrael Yah. So we should have the garments of Almighty Yahweh bound in our left. We should hide it there in our hearts, Israel. Clothe. Not with the garments of this world. Because they expose everything. Yahweh, he doesn't expose everything to everyone. He only exposes what needs to be exposed to the house. It's not, this Torah is not given unto the world, Israel. It's only given unto Baya Israel. Verse 8. And he put the breastplate upon him. Don't you want the breastplate, Israel? Hallelujah. And he put the breastplate, the urban, and the tunman. And he put the diadem upon his head. And also the diadem even upon his forehead. And he put the golden plate, the Kodesh cry, as Yahweh has commanded Moshe. Who is our Kodesh cry? Hallelujah. Who is our head, Yisrael? Who shall be the light of our walk and of our life, Yisrael? Don't you know what the crown was for? The crown was to draw attention to the head. Hallelujah. So us walking in the rock, Hakodesh of Almighty Yahweh, as we have this crown, it draws attention to our head. And our head is Yahshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. 
So we should wear the crown, Yisrael. The next verse 10. And Moshe took the anointing oil and anointed the tabernacle and all that was therein, and he made them Kodesh. Hallelujah. Let you know we have made, been made Kodesh by the oil, by the anointing of the rock of Almighty Yahweh. But before any of this could take place, Yisrael, they all had to obey Almighty Yahweh, his Mishra, where he commanded them, which was very simple. We make it so hard. Well, what is that, Zakain? It's to gather. Yes, that's right. Together. Yes. That we may see, receive the anointing of the Ruah, yes. the anointing of his word, Yisrael. Yes. For we need the anointing of Almighty Yahweh upon us. Yes. And he speaking therefore upon the altar seven times, seven times, and anointed the altar and all the vessels, both the laver and his foot to make it Kodesh. And he poured of them the anointing oil upon Aaron's hand and anointed him and made him Kodesh. And Moshe brought Aharon's sons and put coats upon them and gathered them with the girdles and put bonnets or the covering upon them. And Yahweh, as Yahweh has commanded Moshe. Hallelujah. So let us come with the garment of praise. The garment of Toda. Let us wear it tightly, Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. Around our lips. That Yahweh may pour out his anointed oil upon the house of Israel. Yeah. Hallelujah. The world cannot give you this oil, the oil of gladness, of told out unto Yahweh. It is most precious, Israel. Yeah. And it's that which shall keep us even, hallelujah, to the end of all things, Israel. Yeah. You must keep this light burning, and it takes the anointing of Almighty Yahweh to keep this fire or this flame burning. Hallelujah. Let us move on to Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 9. Talking about the gathering together of Yisrael. Hallelujah. Even as we leave this place or leave this in gathering Yisrael, we must keep our minds stayed upon Almighty Yahweh. Upon the Torah. Upon what we have learned today. Hallelujah. It says in Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 9. Altogether, be on your guard and diligently watch your nephesh. Lest you forget the things which your eyes have seen, and lest they depart from your lab all the days of your life. So we should continue to gather, Yisrael, as we have gathered tonight, to lift up the name of Almighty Yahweh. Because if we don't do this, Yisrael, if we don't make this part of our everyday life, Yisrael, we're going to forget. That's what has happened, Yisrael. But yet Yahweh here is bringing us piece by piece and little by little back, Yisrael. Yes, yes. Least they depart from your lamb all the days of your life. But he says to teach them to your sons and to your sons' sons. That's what we're doing tonight, Yisrael. Yes. Hallelujah. We want this to be a joyful occasion for the bane, yes. for the children. Yes. That this will be an exciting thing. Come on, blow that show for all you children. Hallelujah. Blow the shofar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Toda Yah. Hallelujah. Are we going to have tough, tough rest on this night, Yisrael? Hallelujah. Toda Yah. Hallelujah. Verse 10. He said, especially the day that you stood before Yahweh your Almighty in Horeb, when Yahweh said to me, gather me the people Together. Why? That they may hear. And I will make them hear my misfah, my words, my debah. Yeah. That they may learn to fear me and all to fear me all the days that they live upon the Olam. Yeah. And that they may teach their bang, their children. Yeah. And you came near and stood under the mount, and the mount burned with the ish, the fire. To the midst of the Shemai with dark clouds and with thick darkness. Yeah. And Yahweh, he spoke. Hallelujah. Do you hear Yahweh speaking tonight, Yisrael? Yeah. He hears us. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. The praises of his Kodesh, Kodushim. He inhabits it, Yisrael. Yeah. He desires it. Yeah. And Yahweh, he spoke to you out of the midst of the ish of the fire. And you heard his words, but saw no similitude, only heard his voice that's a beautiful thing to hear the voice of almighty yahweh as he speaks unto the house 
Sure, it's hot. Many times it's hot and fiery, and it burns just right, y'all. But it should be a joy unto our love. Hallelujah. For in that we know that Yahweh, he ahavas us. He loves us just right, y'all. If he didn't love us, then he would not chastise us. He would not correct us just right, y'all. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy, chapter 31, verse 12. Hallelujah. He says, to gather the people together, men and women and children. We should not omit the children, Israel. Hallelujah. It shouldn't be one place for the children. They're in another room somewhere. No, that should be in the body of Almighty Yahweh. And by our reactions to the Torah, whether we praise Yahweh, cry before the throne of our Abba, and they may see that. They may understand that. For in that we show our commitment unto Almighty Yahweh, Israel. Even in your praises, don't think, even though the little children are blowing, they so far, they're, they're watching you. Parents, Zakain, hallelujah. Children and your strangers that is within your gates, that they may hear and that they may learn. And fear Yahweh, your Almighty, to observe, call all the words of his Torah. Hallelujah. Let's move on a little bit, Yisrael, as I bring this to a close tonight. Hallelujah. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself tonight. Hallelujah. Just us gathering together with one accord, one mind, and that is to lift up the name of Almighty Yahweh. So let us not leave this place. And what we have shown before Almighty Yahweh, that it's a miss, Yisraya. Let this be an everyday part of our life. Hallelujah. Do not, Almighty Yahweh, does not he visit us every morning? Hallelujah. We lay upon our beds, he visits us, Yisraya. Well, let us visit him. Let us draw near unto him. Let us cease not to exalt his name. To lift up our voices, Yisraya. Hallelujah. And we do you tell sometime when you're walking out just to shout, hallelujah, just to rejoice, hallelujah. It, it, it doesn't matter who's watching, hallelujah, he's watching, hallelujah, hallelujah. First Chronicles, Debrium chapter 16, verse 28, I want to begin reading. It says, to give. To Yahweh, all you kindreds of the people, give to Yahweh great honor and strength. Give unto Yahweh the honor that is due unto his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Worship Yahweh in the beauty of set apartness or being Kodesh. Fear before him, all you earth. The world also shall be stable. That it be moved not. Let the Shemayims be glad. And let the earth rejoice. And let men say among the nations, Yahweh, he reigns. Hallelujah. Yahweh reigns. Hallelujah. Yahweh, he reigns. Verse 32. Let the seas roar. Can you stop the seas? Can you stop the seas, Israel? Y'all? But they roar continuously. Hallelujah. With the noise unto Almighty Yahweh. And the fullness thereof. Let the fields rejoice. And let all that is where, there within. Then shall the trees of the woods sing out at the presence of Almighty Yahweh. Because he comes to judge the Oleh. Oh, give toe down to Yahweh. Come on, let's give toe down. Hallelujah. Give toe down unto Yahweh, for he is tough. For his mercies, they endure forever. Hallelujah. Verse 35. And say you, save us. O Yahweh of our salvation, Ayashah. And not only that, gather us 
together and deliver us from the heathen that we may give Todah unto your Kodesh name and with a loud voice your praises. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah, way. Hallelujah. Bless be Yahweh, the sovereign ruler of Israel, Yah, forever and ever. And all the people said, so be it, and let it be fulfilled. Hallelujah, 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 way. Hallelujah. 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 Just one more verse, Israel. As we bring this wonderful occasion to a close tonight, and then we should have another song. Hallelujah. From Teshua Singers. It says in Malachi chapter 2, verse 12 and verse 13. This is Yahweh speaking, Israel. And when Yahweh speaks, things happen and things are accomplished. There's nothing left unturned. Hallelujah. So let us leave with this knowledge in, the, in our minds, Israel, yeah, and in our lives. He says, I will surely assemble, O Yaakov. He says, Cole, of you, all of you. He said, I will surely gather the remnant of Yisrael. And he said, I will put them together as the sheep of Bazara. If you watch sheep, even though they're out in the field and, and they're all doing their own little things, they're somewhat scattered. Yet when it's time for them to go into the safety, into a safe place, whether the rains come or the thunderings, you see, and they all mash into one mash, Yisrael, and they go together. As the flock in the midst of their fold, they shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of the Adams, of the men, of the people, Yisrael. Verse 13. The breaker is come up before them. They have broken up, and they have passed through the gates. Hallelujah. Don't we want to enter into the gates of the Melchizedek, the kingdom of Yahweh? When we watch these sheep, when you shake a, a bucket of corn, you want to get them into a certain place, don't they come? They come. If you don't watch it, they'll, some of the sheep will, will jump on you, almost run you over. Because they want to get to that corn, but they have to come to the gate. Don't we want to enter into the kingdom, Israel? Yah? Well, there's great wealth. Don't we desire Yahweh to draw us into the place, into one place altogether, Yisrael? And it says, and their king shall pass before them. Isn't Yahshua HaMashiach our king? And Yahweh on the head of them. Hallelujah. The whole congregation, the whole assembly, the whole fold of Almighty Yahweh. We should have his name, his shame written upon our foreheads, hallelujah, upon our nephews, Israel, hallelujah. So let us be joyful, hallelujah. Let us shout. If you get hoarse, it's worth getting hoarse over. The name of Yahweh, for he has done so much for us, Israel, hallelujah. Let us come up, hallelujah. Singers, Teshua singers, hallelujah. Oh, my God.
be seated for a moment in our Zokin. The Rabbi Yah will come with the last words, but I do want to again to greet all of our friends, you that are faithful supporters of this simple work here. We greet you all in your sure smarty name as we see that Yah is simply touching Yisra He's going to save his house. You hear people often say that they're witnessing, uh, they're telling others about Yah. And yet, the house is empty because he's going to save his house. The boy here, the small elect of his remnant. It's a boy here, just a residue of the smallness of the whole. So we as the nation of Israel, we rest with assurance. Because we know that our names are written in the bosom of Yahshua. So we can gather on Yom to Ruach, rejoice and dance and sing. As our Zachin Yarabia said that our babies will rejoice and learn the way of Yah. The world teaches their babies to do all kinds of wickedness. They can shake their arse before they are two years old. And that's the truth. We show our babies how to lift their hands and to sing and to dance and shout. You train them up in the way that they should go when they are old. I believe what God says. He cannot lie. We train them up in every way but the ways of Yah. We train them how to be like the world, how to look like the world, how to act like the world. And they dress them like the world. Joaquin pointed out thus we must dress our minds in the Sadiq, in the character and the characteristics of Yoshua Hamashiach. So we have enjoyed this Yam Teruach. You that have gathered with us, scattered from wherever you are, we certainly hope that the teaching that our Zachin brought forth, what an excellent teaching. Ma, he could have he could have taught on that. For another hour, you understand, but we're going to rejoice in the abundance of Yah's riches as we come near Kippura, and then for the great gathering of dancing and singing at Sukkah, we may sing in our babies and we may dance and make it an occasion that is a festival, festivity that it may become impregnated in their minds and they recall the days uh, of the former things and how beautiful it was that they may with great anticipation wait for the coming of Yeshua Hamashiach not be distracted with the world but that their minds on the things that are above on the things that are of the kingdom of Omariah there's nothing more important Yisrael I don't care what the riches you may have, it means nothing. I don't care how big your house, it means nothing. I don't care what kind you call it, a fine vehicle, it's a piece of trash. It has no value. The only thing that is of any value is our nefesh, our living substance. And if we die out of the will of Yah, out of his hafiz, his pleasure, then woe unto us. Zachin said to us, uh, we know that Yah loves us because He corrects us. Every son that He receives, every being, every child, He corrects, He chastens. Be times. And so what a great blessing that He corrects us in His judgment, my Zachim, and not in the midst of His Ebra, His wrath, His anger, that He's going to pour out upon this world. It's not going to be with the flood, but it's going to be with the fire of His mouth. He's going to damn this nation and the nations of the earth. You must come out of for my people. Come out of the ways of the world. Come out of the logics, the philosophies, and the thinking of the world. Look at the world. Look what they've done to your daughters and sons. It's insane the way the people are today. There's no sense of temperance, of balance. Because they're removed from Torah. And any time your mind is not developed by the mitzvah, the teachings of Yah, 
then that mind develop an opposition, an enemy, and you become an enemy of Yah. Train your babies, your being, your children up in the ways of Yah. Teach them the beauty of Yah. Show them how beautiful it is to serve Yah. Show your daughters the beauty to retain the essence of the Tifra, to keep themselves unspotted from this wicked world and to keep themselves pure. Teach your son the spirit of a man and the strength of a man, not of a beast and a dog. Teach them that, Yisrael. And then on the occasions of Yah, they will come with great platitude, uh, singing and dancing and rejoicing, uh, not uh, like a damn jackass and clowning. It's amazing how people clown in Yah's house and they find things so amusing. This is not a place of amusement. It's a place of soberness. We should be sober and vigilant in the beard of Yah. And they think it's something that is comical. We greet you all, Yisra, Yah, wherever you have joined us from. Uh, and this is the service of Yam Turu'ach. We're not going to have service on tomorrow. This is the way we do it here. Hallelujah. We're going to gather here. What time breakfast in the morning? We might as well. The Ark have been working late. So what time? Beautiful. I like that. We'll have prayer. Then we'll have breakfast. And then some fellowship. They're calling for rain all day tomorrow, uh, whatever Yah's will, His pleasure. Uh, we will, we will brach Him for all things. I'm hoping that Zachin Yeshuran can do, I want to do another invitation for Sukkot. Even the babies, you all didn't do that on the last one, I don't like that. So I want even the little ones that can utter a sound to say, Sukha 2012, come! And be with us in Teshua. They'll do it. And I want them to do it in whatever position, wherever, you know, that it doesn't look so stale. How about that? So we'll have breakfast at 9 a.m. in the morning. We can sleep a little late. Our ach that have been laboring and you that join us, you should have been here. Hallelujah. And then you can, you can dine with us as we break bread tomorrow in fellowship, the ach and the achot. Hallelujah. And, and rejoice uh, of the abundance that he granted unto us tonight. There are places that have gathered. It's a formality, but it's stale as old bread. There is no excitement about Yah. They got this rigid construct formalities, and it doesn't mean a damn thing. It has no substance at all. It doesn't produce anything. We make a joyful noise to produce this life. Uh, so, Yabrak, you all Yisra'ya Azakim is going to come and dismiss us. Yabrak, hallelujah. Shalom. Hallelujah. I'm already getting a little hoarse there. Hallelujah. That's all right. But it's worth it. The world, they go hoarse, they go crazy for their gods. Yes. Football, basketball. Come on. Yes. Yeah. And you tell me we can't give Yahweh all we can give him, Yisra'ya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? It, there is strength. There is strength, Yisrael, in numbers. Especially when we gather as Kedushims in the Ruach of Almighty Yahweh. Especially one could put how many? Huh? And two, how many? So we gather. Together in the rock of Almighty Yahweh, what can we not accomplish? What can we not do? We have Yahshua on our side. Come on, Yisrael. What can overcome us? Nothing. Nothing can overcome us. Hallelujah. You know what takes precedence so many times, Yisrael? Is we, we allow this flesh to supersede the Torah of Almighty Yahweh. You gonna have to beat that stuff into submission. Hallelujah. The, the Ruach of Yahweh, of Yahshua HaMashiach rule. And everything that we do, everything we put our hands to, let it be for the honor of Almighty Yahweh. Let us stand to our feet, Yisrael. Hallelujah. For I have enjoyed this night. Hallelujah. For we have feasted from the throne of Almighty Yah. Hallelujah. Let us shoot, let us turn to Yerushalayim. 
Abba Yahweh, we do barak you. We give you toda. For all that you have given us, you've given us breath to barak you, Yahweh, to praise you. And we do barak you for that. You've given us life. You've given us our health, Yahweh. We do barak you for that. We do pray for those, Yahweh, that are sick, those that are weak in their bodies, Abba Yahweh, that you will strengthen them on this night, that your Ruach, Yah, will move upon the house of Israel, Yah, and raise them up, raise us up, Yah. For in all things we do, Barak, you. we do give you told out those that have come from near and afar, take them home, Yahweh, safely to the appointed place at the appointed time, that your medical may be wrapped around your bayah. We do give you told out, we give you praise. And we do barak you for this Shabbat Yahweh, that we may rest in the assurance and knowing that you are in control of all things. And all things we do barak you, we give you Toda. In the precious and mighty name of Yahshua HaMashiach, we do declare with a loud voice, Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah, Yahweh! Hallelujah! Yahweh barak you all, Yisrael. Hallelujah!